Hoop Junkie fam, what's good? I'll wait a little bit so people can get connected. Right now, I'm just showing uh, the new uh, kayak sup. I guess you could call it like a hybrid kayak paddle, standing up paddle board. It's the Pelican Getaway 110. It's actually about 10 and a half feet. Uh, ten and a half feet long. So you might think, why I picked this kayak? Why did I get this kayak? Uh, I got it because it's light. Like I could, and another thing, it was under a thousand dollars. That's what like I liked about it. Is a, a for a pedal kayak to be under a thousand dollars. And the reviews on this new uh, hydro, high, I think it's called High Drive Two pedals. It's uh, they designed it way better than the one they had, uh, and it got really good reviews on it. So for under a grand, this is the best like pedal kayak you can get. Um, yeah. Anyways, so like I was saying, yeah, this is the best pedal kayak you can get for under a grand and it's lightweight like you could get other kayaks and they're more expensive obviously they're more made strictly for fishing um you know you get the racks and all that stuff you get the you know you get the rod holders and all that but they weigh a lot and to me if you don't have like a truck or something like that because i got a sedan and if you don't have like a truck or something it's better to get a kayak that doesn't weigh too much so you can do everything on your own even though you could do it on your own with a heavier kayak but trust me 60 i think this one is like 62 pounds something like that i could pick it up by myself and just manhandle it and put it on top of my car no problem at all you don't need to like stand it up first and then like go 90 degrees and then try to put your kayak no i just pick it up from the middle and just boom put it on top of my car um so yeah, that's one of the reasons I got this this one this kayak because it was pedal drive and it was lightweight compared to other ones, and it was under a thousand dollars. Also, um, let me show you. People talk about how right in here, look look at all the space you got. You could put your dog or a cooler right there. You know, like uh, you also have. This is you could put your uh, turning knob like when, when you turn left or right while you're pedaling. You could put it on the left or right side. It doesn't matter. This is where the rudder goes. I got it right there. I'm assembling actually right now. I got this uh, Scotty mount, uh, trail mount, rail. I'm sorry, rail mount. You can put it anywhere you want. I put it right here. It doesn't come with the kayak. I bought that off off Amazon. Uh, like I said, what I really like about it is it doesn't weigh a lot and it's sturdy because i got another kayak which is not a pedal drive one it's the it's the tamarack uh kayak and like even on dry land like if you put it and you try to balance yourself on it you almost fall off of it but on this one i stood on it and it's really sturdy yes right in here if you're like a big guy or like a heavier person it's gonna flex more than usual but to me, I'm only 5'10", 170 pounds. And yeah, you can feel like the movement right in here, like when you stand, put too much weight on it. But it's not nothing to me, nothing like, oh my God, like, you know, it's gonna flex so much, you're gonna mess it up, no. You can actually stand it, it's a really sturdy kayak. And what I love about it is the seat right here, really comfortable, really, really, really comfortable. Um, so yeah, I'm about to sit, uh, finish assembling it. Um, like I said, I got the parts right here. I just got it in yesterday. Amazon did deliver on time. I got, look, it has a paddle, a paddle holder right here that goes in the rails right in here somewhere. Hold on, let me see if I can put it on for y'all. Oops. Right in here. Well, anyways, that's how it's going to go, like, in there somewhere. 
if I want to put it on, but you have enough space for like, you know, you could put your uh, crate back here and rods, your tackle box. So yeah, this is the rudder right here. I haven't even taken it out yet. This is gonna go back here. This is what makes you steer left, left or right, right here. So yeah, this is the Pelican Getaway 110. Like I said, I got it off of Amazon for under a grand. I got it for under a grand. I got it for underground, like I said, and that's that was the selling point right there. A paddle kayak, a pedal kayak for under a grand. Smoking Bass TV, what's up, brother? Thanks for watching. Carlos Alberto, what's up, homie? Diego Martinez, oh, that's my boy. <laughs> that's my son watching me too on my live. Thanks, buddy. Anyways, check it out right here. So you could carry it from the front. Look, it has the eyelids right here. So you can strap down whatever you want down here. Like I said, it's not a traditional kayak, but it's more like a sub kayak hybrid crossbreed or whatever you want to call it. Oh, one other thing. When you get a kayak, make sure you get these things right here. Like if you're going to put it, get some stands. Look, I got those two stands, uh, saw horses or whatever you want to call them, uh, A-frames uh, at Home Depot, two two of them for 40 bucks, just so you can put your kayak up on the stand. Can't wait to use it, guys. I'm probably, I'm probably going to use it tomorrow. I'm hoping we're going to go out with my friend uh, Gio, hopefully if he comes through and go try to catch some crappies it is winter here in maryland and it is cold already today is a nice day but it is cold especially in the mornings and um you know i just want to see how it does on the water and see if how how wet you're gonna get but you gotta use logic you're also not gonna you're not gonna go on a kayak on a winter evening when it's windy or when you think the waves are choppy, you know, you got to kind of be smart how wet you're going to get. But either way, you got to take a dry suit or something against the water that repels water. So even if you do get wet, you're not going to get that cold and you're not going to get wet being in the cold weather. So that's just a given, I guess. But anyways, um, yeah, this is it. The new, the new hook junkie kayak right here. And I can't express enough, it's under a thousand bucks. Feels really good. I love these rails that are already mounted onto it and the chair. I gotta put this outside before my wife starts complaining that I have it inside the house. <laughs> but yeah, just got it in. Like I said, they had issues with the first gen, the Hydro High Drive 1, but now they have the High Drive 2, which everybody says is a lot better. Um, and, and the seat too, you know, like you clip it under there, but you could take it off and people say once you beach it, you can use it as a beach chair too. So we'll see about that. So this is going to be for the... 2022 adventures right here. I think this is a, I don't even know what that is. I guess that's a plug to take water out if it gets in it, I guess. Don't know. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of scupper holes. I know it has one right there and it has one under the chair. Oh, I like this right here too. You can put your drinks right here. It has one on both sides, one over there too. So yeah, Pelican getaway, guys. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching the live. Thank you to all the subscribers. Thanks for everybody who's watching. 
Drop a comment down below if you have this kayak, if you what you think about it, what you know about it. That way it help me uh, when I get out there in the water. Oh, hold on. Let me show you some other stuff I got. Always make sure you get when you're on a, on a vessel, a boat, a kayak, whatever it is. Get yourself a life vest. Look at that. I bought it off Amazon. Everything pretty much that I get is off Amazon because it comes directly to your door. Even the kayak came right to my door. Exactly what they say. It was said between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. It was here like at 6.30 a.m. But yeah, you know what I mean? Be safe out there on the water. If you're out there on the water, you know, you don't want to uh, risk it. Especially in the cold weather, you don't fall and be in that cold, in that cold, cold, cold water. But yeah, hopefully I'll go for some crappies. Anyways, thank you guys for tuning in. So next one, peace.